What is up guys, I'm Shanif is back with episode 20 using the mobile phone to record everything because my laptop is down and I can't edit with my DSLR footage so you know, show must go on. I spent the last 19 episodes thinking about what I want to do and saying that I want to talk about things that, that I want to talk about like I want to make it like a personal thing but I've come to realize that you know what I really want to talk about? I want to talk about local football. And not only local football, I mean local sports, local football. I will still put up some random footage once in a while or um, a vlog of my day that has nothing to do with sports or anything. But I guess this is where the direction of this channel is going to be. It's going to be mainly focused on local football and other local sports which may not be as big as football or whatsoever. With that in mind, welcome to my channel. Um, new content, new... Okay, not so new. This isn't my first time shooting with, with a mobile phone, so I guess I'm back to my roots of using a mobile phone and saying that you know you can con you can create content using anything, man. Even a mobile phone and a mobile phone video editor works just as fine. Here's what I really want to talk about, right? So the S League kicked off on Sunday, and as we all may know, if you guys watched the match, the first game was a bit controversial with three red cards and the penalty being retaken and everything. Um, but I don't want to focus. I, I don't really want to focus on that. It's football. This kind of thing happens. So I guess we all have to just accept the fact and just move on. Even though the referee conduct may not be as professional as what you deem to be professional. I'm not saying that I agree with the referee's calls. Nor am I disagreeing. I'm just saying it's the ref's call. And if he calls it like that, there's nothing you can change. He can go under investigation and all, but. Who am I to say that I'm not the FAS, nor am I the S-League. So Monday was the beginning of the 2017 S-League season and we had two games on that day. There was Home United uh, versus Garina Young Lions and Haugang United versus Geelang International. Now let's talk about Home United versus uh, Garina Young Lions. So from my understanding, from what I've read in uh, articles and stuff, is that the Young Lions squad is made up of the under-23 squad which it will be playing in the SEA Games uh, uh, later this year. So, they had a tough time playing against Home United. I mean, 6-1 is such a huge margin. It was shocking to me that actually Home United scored 6-1. I think former Haugang United striker Stipe Plazibat scored 4 goals. And I'm not really sure about the other two because my mind was focused on one thing and one thing only, which is the Haugang United versus Geelang International match. Now that is what I call a match. People should have their eyes on that match because you know what? Two of the noisiest sets of supporters in Singapore, with the Ultras Eagles and Haugang Hools, and the atmosphere was fantastic. Uh, we had thousand over people turning up at the stadium. Uh, atmosphere was electrifying, players were like it was non stop action. If you guys were there, you got to see it to believe it. Just take a look at this clip.
So the score ended up in the favour of Hagang United. <laughs> yes. So we got 2-0. Um, beat Gelang International 2-0. Um, with Fumia Kogure scoring in the 24th minute. And Iqbal Hussein scoring in the 82nd. Was it 82nd or 83rd? Iqbal Hussein! Iqbal Hussein! 82nd, I think. I'm, I'm gonna have to fact check that. Last night was so mental. Like, I was with the Hulls and we were just so mental. So the game itself was entertaining, but the atmosphere on the stands was just perfect, man. If you guys were there, you'd understand. You have two sets of noisy supporters chanting for 90 minutes each. Like the moment Haogang United scored, we were we were going nuts, man. We were going crazy about it. Like it's been so long since we won the game. And we finally won the game 2-0 against one of our biggest rivals on the terraces. And I just love that man. If only you, uh, do, for those who weren't there, if only you guys were there to witness everything and you know just embrace the atmosphere. I mean, you don't even need to chant. Just turn up and just absorb the atmosphere. If if you want that English football atmosphere, you, you, so to say, why not come down to one of the matches, man? Come down to either Haugang United match or if you rather support Geylang International, then fine by me. I'm, I'm not, who am I to tell you which team to support, man? That's what's lacking in Singapore football. I mean, the atmosphere, the fan support and, and everything, man. If we could, we could nail all that down perfectly, the s would be at such a much higher position than it is right now. Anyway, that aside, I want to show you guys two things. Because yeah, last night, I bought two of the Haogang United jerseys. And I'm gonna, oh, it's not an unboxing video. I'm gonna just open it in front of you guys, alright? So first up. We've got the Haogang United home jersey. As you can see, it's a jersey by Vonda. The lighting may not do it justice, but it looks a bit more yellowish here, maybe because of my side lighting. So let's check it out. You guys got this thing of like smelling your shirts when you buy it. Not bad. So let's open this up. Oh damn, son! You know one thing I like about those smaller jersey manufacturers is that you can actually customize your own design like this instead of a cut and paste template like what Adidas and Nike does. So yeah, this is really cool man. You've got the Haogang United crest. It's still a printed on thing so I'm afraid it would fade away. I just hope it doesn't fade away because that would be sad you know. It's sponsored by Vonda if you guys didn't already know. And with the Printing of green rubber. It's a Malaysian company, by the way. They deal with recycled, recy recycled rubber or something. Uh, two sponsors at the side. Living Star and ESW, which has continued their sponsorship from last year. It's pretty nice jersey, man. So, let's try it out. So, how does it look? That's the jersey, man. That's the home jersey. It feels good. Tight around the arms and the chest. Oh. Or maybe I'm just fat. But yeah, so let's take a look at the away jersey. So the away jersey comes in the colour of blue. It's about almost the same design as the home jersey. So let's open it up. Boom! Nice! So same thing, it comes with the printed on club logo. I really wish it was embroidered because it doesn't fade away and it's more, it looks more professional but no, not complaining. The jersey is nice, the design is not a template design so anything that's not a template design, I'm cool with that. The only difference is that the green rubber logo is in white because obviously this green really wouldn't match with this blue. Same thing, Vonda. Club Crest, Green Rubber is the main sponsor and Living Star and ESW on both of the sleeves. So let's take a look at me wearing this. Check it out guys. I think I'm going to sign for Haogang United very soon. Nah, I'm just kidding. 
So, one thing I like about this 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 jersey, uh, this blue somehow seems a lot nicer than last year's blue. I mean, that's my opinion. I don't know if you agree, but I think this blue kind of looks nice. The thing is, uh, I I might be biased because blue is now my so-called favorite color. My shoes are blue. My jeans are blue. My jacket is blue. I have a few blue shirts and blue t-shirts. So yeah, maybe I like this jersey more than the orange. But you know, orange is the color of Haogang, the mighty black and orange. But yeah, I really like this jersey. I think I'm gonna rock it at any like maybe kickabout session of football that I'm gonna be at. You no, know, it's comfortable enough to be walking around with, and plus the. The, the sleeves hugging them guns. I don't have like big muscles and stuff. It feels like I do have big arms. So I guess this is great. So yeah, that's the Haogang United jersey. So that's the end of today's vlog. I uh, hope you guys like it. Um, le let me know what you think of the football thing, right? Because I'm, I'm really not sure if my audience is really into all this local football stuff. But if you're passionate about football, no, I'm going to give the S-League a chance and head down to a local match. That's it. This is me, I'm Shanif, signing out. Ciao.